Technics, Tekunakusu Tekunakusu, is a Japanese brand name of the Panasonic Corporation for Audio Equipment. Since 1965 under the brand name, Panasonic has produced a variety of hi-fi products, such as turntables, amplifiers, receivers, tape decks, CD players and speakers for sale in various countries. It was conceived for a line of high-end audio equipment to compete against brands such as Nakamichi. From 2002 onwards products were rebranded as Panasonic except in Japan and the former Soviet Union, where the brand remained in high regard. Panasonic discontinued the brand for most products in October 2010, but it was revived in 2015 with new high-end turntables. The brand is best known for the Technics SL1200DJ turntable, an industry standard for decades. History Technics was introduced as a brand name for premium loudspeakers marketed domestically by Matsushita in 1965. The name came to wider prominence with the international sales of direct drive turntables. The first direct drive turntable was invented by Shuichi Obata, an engineer at Matsushita, now Panasonic, based in Osaka, Japan. It eliminated belts, and instead employed a motor to directly drive a platter on which a vinyl record rests. It is a significant advancement over older belt drive turntables, which are unsuitable for turntablism, since they have a slow start-up time, and are prone to wear and tear and breakage, as the belt would break from backspinning or scratching. In 1969, Matsushita launched Obata's invention as the SP-10, the first direct drive turntable on the professional market. In 1971, Matsushita released the Technics SL-1100 for the consumer market. Due to its strong motor, durability, and fidelity, it was adopted by early hip-hop artists. The SL1100 was used by the influential DJ Cool Herc for the first sound system he set up after emigrating from Jamaica to New York City. It was followed by the SL1200, the most influential turntable. It was developed in 1971 by a team led by Shuichi Obata at Matsushita, which then released it onto the market in 1972. It was adopted by New York City hip-hop DJs such as Grand Wizard Theodore and Africa Bambata in the 1970s. As they experimented with the SL-1200 decks, they developed scratching techniques when they found that the motor would continue to spin at the correct RPM even if the DJ wiggled the record back and forth on the platter. As the upgraded SL-1200 MK2, it became a widely used turntable by DJs. A robust machine, the SL1200 MK2 incorporated a pitch control mechanism or VARI speed, and maintained a relatively constant speed with low variability, which proved popular with DJs. The SL1200 series remained the most widely used turntable in DJ culture through to the 2000s. The SL1200 model, often considered the industry standard turntable, continued to evolve with the M3D series, followed by the MK5 series in 2003. Despite being originally created to market their high-end equipment, by the early 1980s Technics was offering an entire range of equipment from entry level to high-end. In 1972, Technics introduced the first autoreverse system in a cassette deck in its Technics RS277US and in 1973 it introduced the first three-head recording technique in a cassette deck Technics RS279US. 
In 1976, Technics introduced two belt-driven turntables for the mass market, the SL20 and SL23. The principal difference between the two models was the addition, in the SL23, of semi-automatic operation and an adjustable speed control with built-in strobe light. They offered technical specifications and features rivaling much more expensive turntables, including well-engineered S-shaped tonearms with tracking weight and anti-skate adjustments. At the time they were introduced the SL20 and SL23, which sold for $100 and $140, respectively, set a new performance standard for inexpensive turntables. Notable products <laughs> Early 1960s SX601 Electronic Organ 1963 an origin of Technic's SX keyboard series, the result of cooperative works of National Electronic Organ Company Panasonic Group and Ace Tone precursor of Roland Corporation. After the 1970s, this product line was branded, Technotone, as a brother brand of Technic's, and newer electronic musical instruments were branded Technic's. EAB 1204 loudspeakers 1965 a premium loudspeakers later renamed to SB 1204 it was also nicknamed Technics 1 and referred as the origin of Technics brand topic <laughs> late 1960s early 1970s SP10 direct drive turntables 1969 first direct drive model for the professional market SL1100 direct drive turntables 1971 for the consumer market SL1200 direct drive turntables 1972 for the consumer market RS-277 U.S. Autoreverse Cassette Deck 1972 RS-279 U.S. Three Heads Recording Cassette Deck 1973 Mid-1970s SA8500X The biggest quadraphonic receiver Technics ever built with integrated CD4 demodulation RS858 US quadraphonic 8-track player, recorder Shish34334 4-channel quadraphonic audioscope SA50XX budget amplifiers ranging from $150 cheapest to $600 most expensive SB7000 linear phase 3 way loudspeaker first of the world topic <laughs> late 1970s Minus 1,500 rupees per 1700 series of open reel tape decks. Saw 100, 400 six hundredths, 800 one thousandths receivers. SL1400, SL1500, SL1600, SL1700, SL1800 direct drive turntables. SL1300MK2, SL1400MK2, SL1500MK2, SL1500MK2, no tone arm, quartz synthesizer direct drive turntables professional series. 
New Class A amplifier series launched featuring inter alia SEA3, SEA5 high output power amplifiers SU C01, SU C03, SU C04 amplifiers a concise line of home audio consisting of amplifier, tuner and cassette deck SBF1, SBF01, SBF2 and SBF3 monitor speakers two-way, sealed casing, aluminum box speakers Psi 1010 analog synthesizer 1977 9000 Professional Series, a series of stack able, or rack mountable, units included the SE9060 amp, SU9070 pre amp, SHISH9010 equalizer, SHISH9020 meter unit, and SAINT9030 tuner. These Pro Series components replaced the earlier SE9600 amp, SU9700 preamp and Saint 9300 9600-9700 tuner that were deemed too large. The 9000 Pro series was introduced because of demand for smaller, quality components. The European version of the Pro Series had a different faceplate than the US version, 18 versus 19 inches. Because of the narrower faceplate, the European version required special rack brackets to be rack mountable. The brackets came with the European version of the SH905ST Professional Series rack. The only difference between this rack and the US version was inclusion of those brackets. As a result, the brackets are ultra-rare and even the rack was sold in limited numbers in the USA. SB10000 loudspeaker. Top-of-the-line Technics speaker at a cost of $12,000 USD. They featured a tweeter made of boron. A used pair sold for $32,050 USD around 2010 in Germany. SEA1 Amp. Top of the line Technics Amp at a cost of $6,000 USD. SUA2 Preamp. Top of the line for Technics at a cost of $8,000 USD. SBE100 and SBE200 loudspeakers. These were both designed with the SB10000 in mind. The SBE100 looked like the 10000 with the base enclosure turned on its end with the mid-tweeter section mounted on top. The SBE100 was made of MDF with rosewood veneer. The SBE200 was made of rosewood and, while more similar in design to the SB10000, it was virtually the same as the SBE100 except for the base box configuration and solid wood. The SBE100 was designed to sit on the floor while the SBE200 could sit on a table or pedestal. The SBE100 had slightly better specs than the SBE200 due to construction. Neither of them were released for the US market. RS9900 US tape deck, top of the line tape deck at the time and quite at home with the 9600 series components listed above. It was a two-piece behemoth that sold for $2,000 in 1977-78. RSM95 tape deck, this deck replaced the 9600 in the same way as the 9000 professional series components replaced the 9600. It was much smaller, less expensive $1,400 and had better specs than the RS9900 US it replaced, resulting in better sound. <laughs> Early 1980s SU V3, V4, V5, V6, V7, V8, V9 stereo integrated amplifiers 
SEA3 MK2 SEA5 SEA5 MK2 SEA7 power amplifiers and SU A4 MK2 SU A6 SU A6 MK2 and SU A8 preamplifiers SVP100 digital audio recorder using VHS tapes also available is the SV100, a standalone PCM adapter requiring a separate VCR. Cassette decks with DBX noise reduction. SB21553 way stereo speakers 1982. SLD212 direct drive turntable 1982. SU Z65 Stereo Integrated Amplifier 1982. Shish 8015 Stereo Frequency Equalizer 1982. Saint Z45 Synthesizer FM AM Stereo Tuner 1981. RSM216 Cassette Deck 1982. Direct drive linear tracking turntables SL10, SL15, SL7, SL6, SL5, and SLV5 vertical. Topic: <laughs> Mid 1980s. Technotone E series 1983. One of the earliest PCM sampling organs in Japan. SXPV-10 PCM Digital Piano 1984. One of the earliest PCM sampling pianos in Japan. SLJ-2. Direct Drive Turntable. Psi DP-50 PCM Digital Drum Percussion 1985. Class AA VC4 stereo integrated amplifiers, starting with the SU V40, V50, and V60 models. 1986. Topic: 1990s to 2000s. The two subwoofers listed below SST25, 35HZ along with the SST1 loudspeakers, weren't intended for home use but are quite at home there as long as have room for them. Use in a small room can result in drywall damage and a fish tank should not be in the same room. They were actually intended for a large venue such as theater, ballroom or outdoor use. Both were passive sub-woofers that came with a separate amplifier. SST25HZ Super Bass Exciter sub-woofer. Top of the line Technics sub, cost when new is unknown. SST35HZ Super Bass Exciter sub-woofer. Cost was $2,500 in 1991 United States dollars. SST1 loudspeaker. Cost was $2,000 in 1991 United States dollars. These were meant to be mated with the SST25HZ or 35HZ subwoofers. High quality power amps, mainstream receivers, Dolby Pro Logic receivers, SXKN series electronic keyboards, including the Arranger keyboards KN3000, KN5000, KN6000, and KN7000, competing with the same market as the Yamaha Tyros. SXWSA1, SXWSA1R Digital Synthesizer 1995. Utilizing Acoustic Modeling Synthesis PCM Sample Plus Physical Modeling Resonator. See also List of phonograph manufacturers <laughs>